wait till you hear this story. It's going to make you mad. No good deed goes unpunished, especially by the federal government. During the early months of the pandemic lockdown, distilleries jumped into action to produce desperately needed hand sanitizer. Remember when you couldn't get any? It was like 90 bucks a bottle on Amazon. You couldn't even find alcohol to make your own. Uh, they did that with FDA approval, but now the FDA threatening some companies with potential recalls and fines for the same sanitizer they approved. Calwise Spirits in California, one such distillery, they're not taking this lying down. So what gives the FDA the right to come back at the companies that helped save us all in 2020? Here with me now, founder of Calwise Spirits in Paso Robles, California, Aaron Berg. Uh, welcome, Aaron. Thanks for having me, Kennedy. So in 2020, you are trying to do your part. You're trying to keep your company up and running. You're like, we have alcohol. They need alcohol. You start making sanitizer, and they wanted to fine you for it back then. What is going on now? Well, I thought it would all be over after 2020, and, and they tried to find us, and, and that didn't go well for them. Um, but uh, and, uh, you know, after they took samples 18 months ago, they're saying, oh, well, actually, your hand sanitizer contains an impurity called acetyl aldehyde, um, and now we need to audit your records again. Uh, we need you to potentially recall it. Um, we might issue a fine, and uh, it's just a big hullabaloo now. Uh, which does not make any sense. You know, if, if, if it is a problem, which I don't believe that the FDA truly believes it is, then why did it take them 18 months to tell us? Yes, yeah, so you are allowed, I believe it's a thousand parts per million of this substance, which evaporates and it is non-harmful. Uh, you've got 160 parts per million, but they're coming after you and other small businesses anyways. And now, when they did that in 2020, the FDA had to issue an apology and a retraction and say, whoops, that was just a mistake. Of course, we owe these people a debt of gratitude who, you know, jumped right into action in the front lines to save people's lives, especially first responders. But the FDA is a political body, isn't it? Yeah, it, it sure is. And, uh, you know, that they uh, they came after us during the pre the previous administration and the previous administration was right to uh, rein them in and, and, and tell them no. And, and actually, uh, ex HHS secretary um, Brian Harrison got on Twitter today and uh, he, he was the one at the time who, who told the FDA to knock it off. And he did it again today. But he's unfortunately not empowered today. So right now it's Secretary Becerra. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's up to the Biden administration to put the FDA back on their leash again and, and, and rein them in. We're also going to um, disincentivize small businesses from helping out during the next disaster. Yeah, and there's going to be another one. I mean, it, with, with the incompetence between the CDC and the World Health Organization, uh, unfortunately, we, we've never gotten to the bottom of it. You know, we have people, patriotic people like you, empathetic, out there doing whatever they can. So you didn't have to sacrifice your businesses so you could keep going. But there are the bureaucrats, the ones in power. And, you know, I don't trust them to identify any of these causes that, that put us all at risk. But I would like to identify some of your alcohol, like Big Sur Gin. I hear it makes a mean gin and tonic and Axe Whole Whiskey. What, what is the best concoction you can make with Axe Whole Whiskey? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm a Manhattan guy, so uh, yeah. So it's named after Axel Whiskey, named after my great great grandfather, and uh, we named it Axel because uh, the feds actually caught him when he was making moonshine and hacked up his still with an axe, and we have the still with the axles in it. So a little bit of uh, wow. backstory on me that my family has been uh, attacked by the feds for generations. Yeah, and you were a bootlegger in college, which I think is just phenomenal. Uh, you went legit. <laughs> you know, you're trying to live out in the open. No more bathtub. Gin for you. I mean, I don't know. The night is young. You could. Uh, but you are doing your best, carrying on the family tradition, and the federal government won't leave you alone. We'll keep telling your story. Uh, Aaron, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on, Kennedy. Have a good night. You too.